Have you had any problems with Agent Orange? Yeah, I have stage four cancer. You do. Is it prostate cancer? Prostate cancer got into the lymph nodes. They I had an open radical prostatectomy. They took out the prostate and just about everything else down there, including 23 lymph nodes. So, uh, you know, I deal with the incontinence part of it for the most part. Um, so I had prostate cancer, um, that, you know, which it spread. That's the main thing. So right now I'm in a clinical trial. I'm in the control group. So we'll determine, so I get the standard care. So they're going to compare me to the people who get the advanced care. And if I die first, the advanced care worked. That's kind of like <laughs> set up. Wow. I go to Memorial Sloan Kettering. Were you, were you one of these guys, sometimes you hear stories of vets, you know, remembering the helos or the planes flying over and the Agent Orange misting down? Did oh, that... absolutely. Once a week, they would spray us. They'd call us up, say, get in a foxhole and put a poncho over you. Which is what they would do. And it was, just, it would just, it was droplets. And you could see it was an oily droplet, which I shouldn't have done. But it was everywhere. You, you couldn't avoid it. You know, it rained down on this and went into the streams. You you drank it. You didn't know what you were doing. You know? And no one knew it was uh, the effect. And of course, the point of that is to kill the foliage to make it harder for right. me to hide and all that, all that stuff. Right. So, you know, it made some sense at the time. But did you, I mean, do you remember thinking or talking with anyone about, I wonder if this is a good idea for all of this no. poison to be misting down on us. It's just part no. of the... Yeah, just part of what was going on. 